So a couple weeks ago, they came out with the open wheel update for GTA Online. So I wanted to get on and try to get into an open wheel race. And of course, as usual, empty lobbies, nobody's trying to play that mode. Seems like this is a common thing in GTA Online. Every time they come out with a new mode, the mode's only able to play for like a week or so. And then once everybody's tried it out, they're done with it. That's the way that it seems with all of these modes on GTA Online. For whatever reason, everybody just wants to play free mode. And I understand it, you know, you can, there's just so much more options to free mode. It's seamless. There's no loading menus really after you get loaded in. You know, but you know, Arena War. I didn't get to play a lot of these different Arena War things because by the time I got to them, whether I was playing a different game or whether I was just busy doing other things with my life, by the time I finally got on, can't even get a lobby with that. Same thing with pretty much all of these modes, and it makes you wonder, you know, we've got like death matches, last team standings, survivals all these different things, all the players that like to fight other players and attack other players constantly in free mode, they never, they're nowhere to be found on all these competitive or quote unquote competitive modes. And the thing is, I don't know if it's because they like to just attack unsuspecting people. You know, they want to pad their kill death ratio. I think kill death ratio could have been left out of GTA Online. They could maybe have it, if they had kill death ratio only on deathmatch, last team standing, king of the hill, things like that, people would play them more. I guarantee it. I absolutely 100% guarantee it. I've never actually really played these modes and everything because, you know, I couldn't really get, any time that I've tried to play them, I couldn't get them. You know, like, look, if you go to these things, you're gonna be the host more than likely, nine times out of 10 on any of these modes. You know, the reason people like free mode so much is free mode's essentially, you know, just like Grand Theft Auto that everybody remembers, whether you played this one and this was your first Grand Theft Auto or other ones, you know, there's people who like playing Grand Theft Auto, they didn't even play the story mode. Look at that, just random person trying to attack me for no reason. But yeah, um... You know, there's a lot of people who don't even play the story mode on Grand Theft Auto. They just cut the game on, run around, do random stuff, and just explore the area and stuff. And there's plenty of people who've played like that. I don't think this is meant to be a competitive, you know, player versus player fighting each other mode. Especially the fact that you can kill yourself and it doesn't award the other player with a kill. Or at least affect your kill-death ratio. So, there's a lot of room for people to be you know, padding their stats and trying to look better than they really are. And I think that's part of the reason why those team deathmatch and those type of modes are not, you know, used at all. They're pretty much just dead modes. I think that, you know, they could have done something different. That's something they could do on GTA 6. Just don't even put, don't put a kill death ratio because that just encourages griefing. And that's what, you know, I don't see quite as much griefing on Red Dead Online as I do on GTA Online because of that same reason. Also, there's not flying vehicles that people can just, you know, kill you from, basically with little to no consequence. I'm pretty sure the reason that most of these modes and everything online are dead, aside from free mode, is just because free mode's really what people play GTA for in the in the in all honesty, in all honesty, most people just play GTA Online to run around, do random shit. You never know what's going to happen in a, in a given lobby, you know, in a given playing session or anything like that. So, you know, that's just the way that it is. You know, I'm, I think really a big thing that saved this game and kept it kept it going for real is the ability to earn money in free mode so now the fact that you can make just as much money in free mode as you can make in other aspects of the game really kept this game alive I think that's something that they're gonna need to continue to add on to Red Dead Online in order to keep the game you know keep it interesting 
and keep spicing things up, keep adding new ways to make money. And, you know, there could be things where other players could interfere with that or not. You know, I think that could be cool. You know, I think the only real reason, though, on here that people attack players randomly, for the most part, is the kill-death ratio. Some people do it just for the funniness and whatever, but the people who are really spammy, people who are really spammy with it and just do it over and over again and just don't leave people alone, they're clearly trying to pad a stat that doesn't really matter, but it makes them feel better about themselves. So, you know, it's a positive and a negative that they added that in there. You know, I do wish that the game modes like Last Team Standing and Death Matches and stuff like that, I do wish that, you know, maybe they were the only one with a, with a uh, kill-death ratio, and I think a lot less players would be griefers. But... You know, a lot of people also just want to run around and do random stuff online, and I don't blame them. You know, that's pretty much what I do. The thing that I've gotten into over the years is just collecting and customizing cars on here, because they've done a really good job of continually adding new vehicles and things like that. So I haven't... I haven't really... I used to be kind of into flying a jet around and attacking other players, but then... You know, it got old to me, it got boring. I think I got my kill-death ratio to like a three or something like that from just fighting other players. And, you know, honestly, most of the time it's players who aren't even looking for a fight. So, you know, I don't really think there's anything too impressive or, uh, you know, too um, indicative of skill. It doesn't really indicate much skill that you can run around and attack somebody who's riding around in their car minding their business. Maybe just looking at the new paint job they put on. But yeah, it is what it is. You know, I do, I really do wish that they could add, see, like, there's the guy in his blimp, like, I could fuck his day up, I'm not gonna do it, I don't, it doesn't do anything for me. But I really think that the reason that the modes are dead is just because... They've constantly added more things to free mode, and I think that's a positive. You know, another thing is the modes, really none of them are all that gratifying. And I think as a chain effect of people just wanting to do random stuff and then them adding more and more things to free mode, there's not really that much reason for the modes to be played. Another thing, if they added if you got paid drastically more money for playing the modes and for winning and stuff like that, a lot more people would play the modes, I guarantee it. There would be people who play the modes, whether it's just for farming money, or they would play the modes, you know, because they genuinely like it, but now it seems more worth it. And also, there's plenty of people who like the modes, they just can't get into one, because there's not enough people playing it. So, you know... I don't know if there will ever be a way that they could remedy that. I think maybe with the money, giving more money, and then maybe restricting kill-death ratio, or separating kill-death ratio. So have a free mode kill-death ratio, deathmatch kill-death ratio. Separate those so the people who really want to say, oh, I'm hot shit, you know, well, that's your free mode kill death ratio. That's not your death match or your last team standing or king of the hill or any of that. You know, you're just riding around attacking people who aren't even paying attention. So, you know, that's that's just my thoughts on the things. So let me know what y'all think about that. This is just something that I was thinking about today while I logged on and just wanted to share my thoughts with y'all. Hope everybody's having a good day, staying safe and everything. Everybody have a good one.